So, um, hello everyone, my name is Odina Jacobs, DevOps Engineer at Falabella. Welcome to my session, Time is Matter and Hate Response with Amazon API Gateway. Today, we're going to start about how API Gateway uh, helps in order to get the more or the best response for your user in, when we use the, the services. First, we will discuss why time is modern in digital application. Then, we explore how Amazon API Gateway help in order to get the best response for your user. At the end, we will wrap you on a demo when implementing caching using Amazon AWS CDK Development Kit. Okay? So, uh, let's, why time is smarter? Imagine that you are in a supermarket line and all the cashier are very busy. Uh, all the time, if you, if you need to, to see what is the, the, the status for, for the, that you try to do, uh, in the digital world, every millisecond matter. So for every API request response time can be the different between satisfy the user and you lost one, right? So it's very important to do for the user the best improvement when you use API Gateway. By the end, what is the role for the Amazon API Gateway? Amazon API Gateway act like a bridge between your user and your backend, like uh, Amazon DynamoDB or uh, you close Amazon EC2, and then if you use Lambda function. In fact, we have some feature that is very important for Amazon API Gateway, like uh, caching, throwing, security, and traffic management, in order to get the best performance for your user and also on the experience. Caching is the speed best friend. By history response, API Gateway Cache, we avoid many hiding your account, right? In this time, you can apply for this because this is very important in some scenario when you use mobile apps and also when you use website and then also the, all, all the facing services that you can apply for your user. Trouble in protecting your app for being open held by too many requests. So if you need to uh, set up some trolling in your application, we have bird limits and rate limits. For bird limit, we define how many requests can be processed and given time for flow control being. And also, the rate limit set how many requests are lower per second and sustaining basic. And also, when you configure that, depending on the account that you use, you have a specific 10,000 requests per second, for example, for rate, or you have the 5,000 response requests for uh, bars uh, option, right? So, by combining caching and troubling is the best way in order to apply that. Why? Because when we apply the API cache, we can get the best performance for our application. Imagine that you are your backend, and also we have here three groups. We have a priority one group, we have a priority two groups, and also we have the third group that we are in our application. You can manage the status code, for example, when you have too many requests, like a status code 429. And also, you can have another group that respond your status code, for example, 200, and then you can have another group that do doesn't have any traffic. By the way, when you do this, when you do this, caching reduces the number of requests of to the backend while troubling limit the request each client can make, keeping the performance stable, even when you have the more traffic spikes in your application. This, this is the implementation when we use cache, implement, cache with API Gateway. We will use AWS Cloud Development Key that we define our infrastructure as a code by uh, AWS CloudFormation. We are all the stuff that we have, uh, that we will see in our demo, and also we will deploy the Amazon API Gateway. We have uh, also enabled the Cache API Gateway, 
And we will have two resources that we've managed by TypeScript code that we are in the next slide in the demo that we are showing you. Now we have the API Gateway Cache implementation with CDK. This is the requirement that we need in order to apply this. Uh, after that, we will see what is the QR code when it applies this demo. So um, we have this repository when we have some feature like uh, we are mentioned before, Amazon API Cache with Cache implementation, and also we will use CDK for automation. And all these codes that we have in this repository is based in TypeScript. So you can use the use of common commands that we have in this repository. And also, if you need to see the code that we are using in order to deploy the service that I mentioned before, you can go to this uh, API stack configuration. We have some constructor, and also we have some mocks that we are defined the response. Okay, and also we define the stage that we have to see uh, basically when we deployment this application, right? If you go to the repository, you can clone the repository, go uh, uh, inside, and also you can run some NPM uh, commands in order to build first. And then uh, also you can check the code if we have some uh, issues with the NPM run tests. And we will have all of these and everything is okay. We can next to apply the CDK deploy in order to uh, get all the infrastructure as a code that we apply. So, and then we can get the configuration for API Gateway and also will be enabled that, that we need to do inside this. We create the confirmation chain set. We create all the stack. And also both resources that we see in the diagram. And also we have the deployment stage that we are defined to uh, deployment inside, that is the environment and plot environment. And finally, we have the stack, all, we deployment all the stack in our platform. You can check the output, basically the URL that we have in the, in the console. And then we go to the API service API. We get all the resources that we are deployment that I mentioned before. We have the resource one and resource two and the method that we use in order to get the response that we are configured in the repository. And also, if you can see the stage, you can go to the stage and see uh, the resources that we have here. In this case, only we enable the caching in the resource one. You can go there and see that it's empty and also the troubling is at the inside. You can copy this URL in order to um, validate that is everything is okay. We see that the most response that I see in the code. And also you can get a core in order to validate if you need it in the console. And we have the response that we are getting in the code. And also you can confirm in the web page. After that, uh, we will see that troubling is uh, enabled automatically, but the caching, no. So if you need to enable, you need to go to the repository, change the code, and enable the caching level in the resources that you need and the environment that you are defined. Okay? So, no more unimportant too is clean up our project, okay? For, in order to do this, you can apply the destroy CDK and we will destroy all that we are uh, applying.
we confirm that destroy this and right now we see that everything that was created was deleted right now we destroy all the stack that we are defining in the code if you need to validate go to the platform and see that we don't have anything there so in order to recap and call to action remember that caching reduces the number of API latency after and also uh, help to to improve performance in your API by caching the output call to bulk call it backend and then we have the time TTL for cache response that is for by default by 300 seconds by default so for troubling this is to keep your from uh, being overheard by too many requests you're happy and also the default request per second is 10,000 by default for current requests is 5,000 if you can manage the error in your platform uh, you can manage by the error five, uh, four night, four two night. Um, I will uh, uh, tell you that you can scan the QR code and also see the repository that I use in the uh, in the demo. So you can scan and try to do by yourself. And in uh, final, that at Michelle Obama said uh, that it's not magic to achieve thing. It is simpler a matter of hardware determination, and also I'm persistent. So uh, thank you for coming. Uh, you can contact me after this meeting, and also you can uh, contact back my LinkedIn. And then remember, please the session server in the mobile app. Okay? So uh, thank you so much and enjoy the rest of the event.